In today's Cam Instructor Mastercam Tips video, this time will be something a little bit different. In this video, we are offering up a free lesson on our website. This lesson is going to take an in-depth look into what tool engagement angle is and how it's used inside of Mastercam's dynamic milling toolpaths. As we're doing this, we'll also explore some lesser known features inside of Mastercam. To start with in this lesson, we're going to create a couple basic dynamic milling toolpaths, one internal and one external. From there, we're going to analyze some aspects of these toolpaths using Mastercam's analyze distance function. We'll analyze some of the step over values within the toolpath and look at how they differ. Later in the lesson, we'll explore why these stepovers can vary. We'll also look at an extra option inside of Mastercam's backplot, which we can use to help us see the tool's engagement into stock a little more clearly. Next, we'll define what tool engagement actually is. And to further explain it, we'll look into some of the math behind the tool engagement angle, such as calculation of the angle and how it relates to the stepover of the toolpath. From there, we'll go a little deeper into the toolpath analysis. Here, we'll use another lesser known feature in Mastercam and turn our dynamic toolpath into wireframe geometry. We'll then use that geometry to create even more geometry, which will then be used to measure the tool engagement angle throughout our toolpath. Then we'll look at why the stepover value is actually changing throughout the toolpath, even though the tool engagement angle is remaining the same. Finally, we will come full circle and sum up what is happening inside of the dynamic toolpath, as well as a few final thoughts and things to watch for. So there will be a link in the description of this video. Go ahead and click on it and come over to our website, caminstructor.com, and get signed up for your free lesson.